Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are going to start the Audi RS3 Autodesk Alias modeling course and um, but before we start uh, we're gonna take a look at uh, the blueprints um, and for that we're gonna visit netcarshow.com when you enter this website there are many brands here uh, official brands and the latest cars uh, you can watch all the photos of each car uh, and you can find some blueprints uh, we're gonna search uh, an RS3 so here is the RS3 Sportback 2018 2017 and race car and we need the Audi RS3 sedan so we're gonna click on it and there are nine pictures at the last section we find the blueprint it's uh, the official blueprint but we also can find the vector drawing search just search RS3 sedan vector drawing uh, this is not official but um, it's very good for modeling uh, not for product modeling but for fun and for gaining experience it's very good for you and you can find other blueprints or vector drawings like Audi R3 Cabriolet any car any car uh, most of the cars have uh, at least a vector drawing uh, and usually they have blueprints we're gonna save this blueprint here okay but we want more photos from our RS3 some detailed photos and some full view photos uh, as we are going to next pages we can find detailed image and on initial pages we can find full view page full view pictures uh, we need the studio shots because the studio shots are very good for modeling because you can see the reflections uh, you can see the surface is very good uh, Autodesk Alias modeling is all about surfacing and all about uh, surfaces so we're gonna save this this environment view it had a good reflection now let's check other photos can find different views and different colors of it I like this this one is good I can see the surfaces you can save it and I would also save the studio shots the best quality and here's the studio shots at the front you can see the fender reflection and the side door reflection you can see the surfaces because the color is very good it's metallic I think uh, okay I've saved as much as as many as I wanted now uh, for the detailed shots uh, I can download some to like this see this is a zoomed photo so I can see the details now let's find other photos like mm, this one for the headlights this one's very good can save it very very good Although you can save the sketches of Audi S3, the official sketches, uh, because it really helps you to uh, watch the details and 
you know fill the details this is for air intake I'm gonna save it as you see I've saved study shots this one for the back wing this one is also good I'm gonna save it And other details like mirrors, like uh, wheels, the side skirts for the diffuser, for the exhaust, the back bumper, we want it. And other photos. Uh, now let's take a look at our folder. We've saved many photos. Um, we're gonna rename it rename the pictures and order it as we want uh, like renaming we want this as as a last detailed photo but and we want to studio shots first so we can rename it like this and now it's it has moved to this area and this one renaming this also moved okay we have blueprints for the first picture now because you're gonna switch the pictures if you don't have a second monitor or second display uh, so you should uh, order that I mean you should sort that by name so you can switch beautifully between the photos this is very important for us as you see we are going from the front view to the back view this is also another factor which you should consider now uh, let's talk about the blueprints uh, we can crop it I mean we should crop it because uh, Autodesk Alias 2020 Alias Surface doesn't have any crop tool but Alias Auto Studio has so if you don't have Auto Studio and if you have Surface uh, so you should crop the photos and save a copy this is Windows 10 photo editor and you're gonna save it in the same folder with another name ok saved and you can do the same for other views side, top, back and front uh, so how I'm gonna import the canvases just open the file menu and import canvas here import canvas image just click on that square and uh, take care you should check this box because you should always have a new canvas and um, if you don't take this the new canvas is going to overwrite the latest canvas okay you're gonna import this as a side view you know the constraint is not uh, very good and you should uh, scale it uh, but you need an exact number uh, as you can see I've created a light created a layer and assign that to the your to your layer a bad bug that Elios has is that if you move move it on Z and then move it on X it would again move the Z I mean the history of your movement is saved so it's it's a bad bug um, so take care uh, think carefully before you move something I mean moving only canvases only canvas images 
uh, you should take care and if you move you can't get back so there is no undo here so take care uh, for scaling and moving okay now let's move on and let's talk about the cube here you can find it from surfaces tool you can add a cube here left click to add and scale control shift uh, and you can add an exact number here 4479 now um, this is a cube which uh, let's see how long is that what's the length okay 44 79 uh, now you can see the cube so you can scale the blueprint uh, to fit the blueprint or and the front and a back bumper to the cube just match them just try to match them scale move scale move these are the important things you should always do for the canvas images uh, okay it fits now I know you're gonna make a mistake like some millimeters but uh, take care because uh, it's very important your whole shape would set on this blueprint uh, so this is a reference and uh, if you zoom in more and more you're gonna have a better constraint and a scale okay uh, we're gonna create a new layer and add the top view okay another cube with a new constraint just add the lens to its scale now uh, we have different ways to match them you can move it and uh, watch it from 3d see you can match these lines so uh, they're gonna match together just zoom in and see the lines are overrating each other or not. Okay. When you're matching two lines, they are much sharper. They are like a bold line. So, we're gonna scale it a little bit from the top view let's see what can we do okay I just scaled the side view the side blueprint okay it's matched it's complete now for the front bumper let's move it a little bit scale it up move a little bit okay it's like you're playing a game it's like playing a game and you can do the same thing as I'm doing okay it's matched we're gonna save it save the whole file okay here by only watching what I'm doing is uh, it's very good for you because you're familiar with the Autodesk Alias software and what can you do with it? 
you can move it up move the top view up or move the side view left or right uh, you can move it because they are now matched together but take care we're gonna show you how to hide them I mean not exactly hiding just hide the constraint uh, I've created back layer now and you know you can pick these layers but uh, we can add them to the reference here we have object lister just show it and hide it and it, click on this the second one is R R means reference and the first one is P means pickable so you're gonna add it to reference okay so you can't pick it now from this menu from uh, you can change the transparency of each layer and uh, of each um, thing like canvases I've changed its transparency so I can see the curves and surfaces um, on the other side of it my transparency is okay now uh, now I should uh, add another cube for the back and front view so I'm going to add another cube as what we did before we're gonna scale it check out the mirrors they are matched move a little bit now it's okay just play with it you're gonna find a good result for your work importing the back view the cubes are helping us so much for the constraints because they have an exact line and uh, we can scale the views to match these four canvases okay I've colored it with a shade shaded color with color shading now it's okay I think it's okay now and you can do the same for the front view it's not really hard for you now because you know how to add cube and scale it with an exact number now I, I should just move it up because the wheels weren't on the ground so I'm gonna move it up and that's it you can, al you can also check the side view for reference okay I've also imported the front canvas so now we have four canvases and uh, we just learned how to import canvases and how to scale them uh, and don't forget that you should download all the images because we're gonna switch between alias and our photos uh, because we want to see the reflections we're gonna see the surfaces uh, for the wireframe based modeling and our a class we need that uh, so goodbye for now and see you at the next chapter <laughs>